Hey everybody, I'd like to share PlayPosit with you. It is an interactive learning tool for students as well as a source of formative assessment data for teachers. Uh, once you've arrived at PlayPosit's website, you are going to log in. And the nice thing about PlayPosit is it works with a lot of different learning management systems, including Google. So I'm going to log in with my Google account. The first screen that you're going to see once you log in is your dashboard. And this is where you are going to see all of the bulbs that you have either created or added to your library. Now, a bulb is a video that you've uploaded to PlayPosit and then edited with PlayPosit's interactive features. So essentially, students watch a bulb and then are prompted at various points throughout the video to answer questions or respond um, to uh, different prompts. So to the left here in the blue navigation area, you can access your folders where you've organized content if you choose. You can access your classes. And then you can access a library of pre-made bulbs uh, from other users. So going to classes, uh, another thing I like about um, PlayPosit is the fact that it does integrate with Google Classroom. So you can upload and sync your classes. These classes were from a few years ago. You can upload those classes into PlayPosit. Um, but if you want to add a class, you can do that as well using this button here. Now, when I go into one of my classes, I can access the bulbs that I've assigned. I can access reports that are generated uh, by PlayPosit. Um, the gradebook is going to show which assignments have been completed. And then within those assignments, it's going to show you uh, individual student um, responses. Um, but as far as uh, providing um, item analysis type reports, um, it's not going to give you that. So that's one uh, drawback if you're looking um, to form um, uh, data uh, informed groups um, or make um, RTI type intervention decisions. Um, you have to look a little deeper in the data um, besides the initial report. Now with learners, um, adding learners is easy if you've already synced your class uh, to Google Classroom. Um, but if you don't have Google Classroom, there are a couple options to add your students. The first option is by providing them with a specific class URL and a class code. Um, that's by far the easiest of these two options. The other option is that you actually have to upload students' names to create unique username and passwords. Now, before I show you guys how to create your own bulb, um, I just want to show you this pre-made bulb section. Um, and again, this is created by PlayPosit users themselves. You can filter and search based on your subject area, uh, based on the age of your students, what level they're at. Um, and then you can also paste a YouTube URL to um, this search engine, and it'll actually pull up anything related to that YouTube. So if you see a video on YouTube that you think would be appropriate for your class, you could copy and paste the URL to here and see if anyone else has made a bulb um, about that YouTube. So you can either use that bulb yourself or use it as uh, inspiration for your own content. So going back to the My Bulbs tab here, uh, you'll see there's a button called Add New Bulb. So you're going to click that to create a new interactive video to share with your students. Um, one drawback here is it takes a little longer than, than you would expect for things to, to load, um, but it's not too bad. Uh, once you get to this point here, you are prompted to add a video. And you could do that using a lot of different ways. Um, but I'm going to use a URL from YouTube. So this is a video I made um, a while back for my students. And once I add that URL, um, it's going to give me a preview page. This lets me know 
that everything has uploaded correctly. And now I'm adding the video segment to my ball. Now once I've added my video segment, I have a couple options. I can add a template. Um, a template is going to include very specific assessment interactive pieces that you can add to your video. And while that's a really neat option, um, you're going to get the most customization and personalization through this button here, the add and interaction. So what you can do is you can actually click play. And at any point in the video that you feel an interaction would be appropriate for students to complete, you click that button and you have some options. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the voice you're hearing is mine from a couple years ago. I'm going to show you how to properly uh, shade in an area model to represent fraction multiplication. So to the left, we see we have a fraction multiplication problem three fourths times one third. Another way of thinking about this is. Okay. So um, I'm going to add an interactive piece here. Now I have some options. I can create my own multiple choice questions, free response, I can add a poll. The discussion option is interesting because it allows students to interact with each other during the video. Um, fill in the blank, check all. Another interesting option is, is I can include a link to another web-based activity. So if I want them to complete some practice problems, if I want them to see an interactive, a gizmo, something of that nature, I can include it in my bulb. Uh, for this, I'm going to for this particular question, I'm going to use the free response, and I'm going to ask my students, um, "What is a situation you can think of where you would want to find three?" fourths of something. So once a question, a free response question is complete, students are going to have several different options, including video, audio, images, text, to uh, demonstrate that they either understand something, can summarize something, or answer a question. So very, very cool. Now, you can continue doing this until the end of the video. When a student experiences uh, a bulb for themselves, they will receive immediate feedback on questions that are, are multiple choice, fill in the blank. Um, they will know immediately whether they've answered those questions correctly or not. Questions like this have to be scored. So they do receive a report at the end, uh, but it may be incomplete if, if the teacher or instructor has to grade some of the things by hand. Now when you're done, you click the review. You can add a learning objective. The most interesting part, I think, is the playback options. There are several options here, including allowing students to rewind, to retake the bulb. Uh, there's even an option for them to skip interactions if you think that's appropriate. When you're done, you save and exit, and then it, everything is finalized, and then you can find the finished bulb in your dashboard. And then from there, you simply assign it. Uh, to whatever class uh, that you want to. Um, so you can select a due date. Um, if you want to do that, you can leave it open. Um, there's a few options there. Now, everything I've shown you thus far is free. However, you can upgrade to a pro version that's $12 a month. There's a few more options. Uh, this broadcasting live coming soon, that seems pretty interesting. But I think you can can really use uh, Play Pause it, um, just on the free version in your classroom and, and get some real value out of it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I think this is something that I personally will use in the fall um, with my online students as well as my in-class students. Um, I think this would be a really interesting way to flip a classroom. Um, I think this would be interesting station work. Um, so I think there's there's a lot of um, instructional models that PlayPosit could fit in. Um, 
a major drawback is that it, it, it takes a while to load sometimes, but overall I really enjoy it. Thanks guys.